Salmon, and we we got a feeling of what this what Judaism could be, and came back and started in our own living room. My husband would go off to services to the shul, and I would bring in my few friends, and we would experiment with meditation, with yoga, with chanting, with davening, and so forth. It grew, and then it grew some more. We were attracting people that were healers, artists, free thinkers, intellectuals, people like you. And that's why we started the community. Was there something else I should add to that? And it was a place where being different, what you felt secure. Not one person in here is like another. We are all unique. Yes, we have an essence that's in common, but we have different colors, different vibrations, different ways of showing it. Yes, we want to make a difference in this world, and we want to enhance the people in the community around us and at large, but we each do it in our own way. So I'm going to show you this video of Zena Nicole Lahr from Ore, Colorado. She is 23 years old. This video was taken because, as I understand today, not like when I was in art school. We used to go around with a big cardboard portfolio and show our work. But now, you have to do videos and show who you are and what you do. This video was taken very shortly before she died in a hiking accident in Colorado. What this young woman says and shows you in a few minutes on a video is more than a lifetime of what some people understand. I, because I want you to get it, I'm going to tell you a couple of things to look for. First of all, this statement is great. She says she, she is a recycling artist. She recycles old things, makes them kinetic. She takes inanimate objects and she gives them life. Metaphor for all of us. <coughs> she says, why take a flashlight when you can light up a whole parasol? And you'll see that in there, which is a brilliant statement. Why do we only do one little thing to shine the light? when you can do something so much greater. She becomes her own canvas. Listen carefully. 